garage comedian. It's a beautiful day for a joke. And now it's time for Garage Comedian News. Hello and welcome back to the Garage Comedian News. I'm the Garage Comedian. As fires continue to ravage California, Trump offers up his global warming change solution. It'll start getting cooler. Thanks, Elsa. Though how is it supposed to start getting cooler with all that hot air spilling out of your mouth? Trump said the state of California is not doing enough on brush clearance, despite the fact that nearly 1.1 million acres have actually burned on federal land in the state this year. So what you're saying, Mr. President, is that you're not doing enough on brush clearance. How dare you, sir? And for more on this story, we now bring in Anna Atmosfera from the Atmosphere Institute. And I have to say, Anna, I love that name. It sounds like you should be hosting a morning show for children when Dora Explorer met Anna Atmosfera. You're done. Yes. Uh, so I understand you have a model that will show us what the Earth would look like over the course of a year if the hot air emanating from 1600 Pennsylvania Ave ceased. Is that right? Yes, if the president stopped speaking. Laying off the tweets wouldn't hurt either. For one full year, that would single-handedly reverse the global warming effect, sparking a global cooling, as you can see here in this model. Welcome to Snowball Earth. It actually looks kind of like Spaceship Earth, you know, like over at Walt Disney World, kind of? Maybe a little? Well, it's been wonderful having you here, Anna Atmosfera, and hopefully in the future you'll come back. Actually, can I call you A-squared? No, you may not. Okay. You scare me a little. Thousands of migrating birds have inexplicably died in southwestern U.S. due to the wildfires. It is believed the birds had to reroute their migration path away from resource-rich coastal areas to inland, where food and water are more scarce. Birds have literally been dropping from the sky and onto the pavement below. I haven't seen that many birds appear on a roadway at one time since I was caught up in traffic on the Cross Bronx Expressway. <laughs> Come on! Let's go while we're young! You said it, Rodney. New York. <laughs> the only Big Apple I like is Honeycrisp. Those are yum yum. Close call for a Greenfield, Massachusetts man who was sleeping by his pool when a black bear wandered onto his property and woke him by nudging his right foot. Debate then sparked around what, if anything, the man was wearing on his feet at the time. Sneakers? Flip-flops? Boots, perhaps? Nah. I'm guessing he was barefoot. Come on, that was good, right? Dancing with the Stars host Tyra Banks voiced her frustration this past week as her repeated requests to have the word smize added to the English dictionary have been rebuffed. I know. Smizing apparently is when you smile with your eyes. I'm still keeping my smize on the prize as I'm awaiting a ruling on my smut submission to the English dictionary. Smut is when you smile with your butt. What? Smut already exists? And it means that? Hmm. I may have to pick me up one of those novels. <laughs> Carol Baskin, CEO of Big Cat Rescue, who rose to fame during the popular Tiger King docuseries on Netflix, tried her hand at Dancing with the Stars, and of course, danced to Survivor's Eye of the Tiger, you cool cats and kittens. And for more on that story and how she performed, we bring in a dancing aficionado whose dance credentials include watching Michael Jackson's thriller video four times. <laughs> And here he is, the one and only, Gus Stardust! Thank you. You know why tigers aren't good dancers? No, why are tigers not good dancers? Because they have two left feet. <laughs> Gus Stardust, everyone! Give it up! Give me something. And finally tonight, my producer tells me that we finally got something in our mailbag. Mail time! This is a first, I have to say. This uh, comes to us from Miss Hopkins over on Mantle Drive. She says, Dear Garage Comedian, I'm concerned about the number of anthills in the common area. What should I do? Hmm. I'd step on them and get on with my life. If you'd like, you can step back and admire your dirty work. Flash a smize like this. Uh, uh, am I doing it, Tara? Uh, like this. I feel like a deranged Mona Lisa. You're embarrassing yourself. Well, that's all the time I have. Oh, and happy early birthday to my mom, who turns blah, blah, blah on Thursday. 
Until next time, I'm the Garage Comedian saying it's always a beautiful day for a joke. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more funny videos like this, click the subscribe button. The more you know, bow, 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 bow.